Hey guys, here's another quick um, Logic Pro X tip for you. Um, I recently got the IK Multimedia plugins, and there's 38 of them. So when I go to a channel to insert a plugin uh, effect, I've got all my um, Logic ones, and then I have to go to Audio Units, IK Multimedia, and scroll through here to find the plugin I want. All right? And I use a few of these commonly. Plus, I use a few of the host plugins commonly. And there may be other audio unit plugins that you have. Uh, I like to use these Softube ones a lot, these Abbey Road units, right? And the SAR 1R Reverb, etc. Okay, so yes, it's true that Logic puts the most recently used plugins at the top of the list here, which can be handy. But we can build a favorites folder and put all our most commonly used plugins in, which we can access really quickly. So uh, we go to Logic Pro X Preferences Plugin Manager. Here's all the plugins by default. All of them, right? Um, and now here's the folders for the Logic plugins. The different categories, amps and pedals, delay, distortion, dynamics, EQ, etc. So we just click the little plus button there. We make a new folder. I'm going to call this AA Favorites. And if I call it AA favorites, it's going to appear at the top of the list. Boom. And now I'm going to go to the IK Multimedia list here by manufacturer. And I like to use the um, EQ73 a lot. It's an emulation of an old Neve. So I drag and drop that into my favorites. That doesn't remove it from the IK Multimedia list, but it is now in this favorites folder. Right, another one I like to use a lot is the Dynamu compressor, so I drag that into my favourites. Um, the bus compressor, which is an SSL bus compressor emulation. Uh, the 1176. The LA2A. And the Fairchild. Also, another one I like to use a lot is the plate. I'm getting into the reverbs, but I particularly like the plate. The hall's good as well. They're all good, but this plate I, I do like a lot. So I'll stick that one in there as well. And the Pultec EQP1A. Now, I can put uh, Apple uh, Logic plugins there as well. Uh, I, like if I want to go with, I don't know, EQ and stick my channel EQ into favourites as well. Now it's been removed from here. So... Apple ones are removed, but other manufacturers' ones, it doesn't remove them from the list. All right? If I want to put the channel EQ back into EQ, I drag it and put it back into EQ. Now it's back in EQ. So you know what? I'll leave that. This is just for my third-party ones, let's say. right? But you can put Logic ones in there as well, but it will remove them from their usual folder. Okay, that's all done. There's some regulars. I can come back and add to it. I'll tell you what, while I'm here, where's the... Uh, uh, soft tube ones. I'll stick the three Abbey Roads in there as well. Hold down shift to select those three and put them in my favourites as well. Okay, there's some of my favourites. Done. Boom. And now when I go to add a plug-in at the top, because I put AA favourites, it's at the top of the list alphabetically, there's all my favourites. And I can add to this any time or remove them. You have to remove, just go to the plug-in manager, Go to the Favorites folder, select one I want to remove, and right-click and do Remove. It won't remove it from the list of plugins by manufacturer. Yeah, but there you go. Easy way to get all your favorites into an easy-to-use folder. Just go to my favorites. There's the ones I'd like to use the most. Okay, it's a cool little uh, tip. Okay, see you for the next one.